I think it's fantastic to hear um, from, you know, I know yourself and Jill and Phil have been doing podcasts on podcasts and videos on interviews and you're doing fantastic work of all of the communications around around exactly these same topics we're discussing here. And I would just really welcome maybe the opportunity for you to talk a little bit about training and of course in strange times like we're in now but how you're making sure that this is understood because we're still getting people saying that you know they've had experiences where Ofsted inspectors have asked for very specific things that they were told they didn't need to and I just would love to hear how you're making sure this message chimes with every inspector. Okay yeah thank you and I think one of the things there though is is to talk about matters and Phil's already touched on it is that, that there is no magic formula there is no um, everything that we do um, in terms of what we do on an inspection, the guidance we use, our methodology, everything is published. All that information is published out there so that, you know, those expectations are clear. They're clear for our inspectors. They're clear for providers. They're clear for the childminder. You know, so it's all very clear and it's all out there and it's all accessible. There's nothing hidden. We've got nothing that's hidden. So very much that makes make sure that those expectations are clear. That's what we use and we build on in our inspector training. And then things like these podcasts that, you know, that Phil and I do and Jill, the messages that Jill gives as well, very much though that information is shared with our inspectors as well. Um, and then, of course, as well as the training that we've got, and of, of course, we've had to adapt our training um, to online forums as well, um, is that there is quality assurance processes in place. So inspectors are assigned to regions and regions that there's kind of like their line management systems in regions. And those processes make sure that our inspectors are consistent um, in terms of, you know, their practice on the ground. That's fantastic. And we've just had a few comments in straight away here. Um, Gov.uk is where to find all of this. I, I mean, basically the best advice is to Google it, I suppose, if yeah. we're being honest. Um, yeah. But they can find everything you're talking about online. Myth. I know you do some myth busting and have done myth busting in the past. You maybe want to talk about where people can find that. Yep. I mean, everything is on gov.uk. And, um, you know, Google is a really good search engine. If you put in there Ofsted Early Years Inspection Handbook, it comes up. If you're in a school and you put in School Inspection Handbook, it will come up. Um, and again, Early Years Myth Busting, it comes up. So it, it's it's all um, it's all there and it's all available. 